All right, welcome to my dwarf fortress. Um, this is the first fortress I've been building like uh, seriously because the first two I made were just to get a uh, feeling of the controls and stuff. Um, as you can see, my traps are like also on the outside. That's because I remodeled the entryway after I got some more advice that it would be better for caravans and stuff to enter like this. You can see there's like blood and stuff here. That's because it used to go somewhat like this. And it was one tile wide and stuff. I've also built an archer tower with a closed roof and stuff. And it goes down to my uh, what's going to be stockpile for weapons, armor, some food and here are the barracks for my ar archers uh, still work in progress this is the captain of the guard his office uh, I've got three archery ranges with some bolts holes behind them um, let's take you guys on a tour yeah this this is uh, what I call uh, fun camp or uh, too much fun camp anyway with lots of coffins and at first I built like tombs and stuff but that was way too time consuming so I'm not now I'm just like stockpiling them over here uh, yeah there's like a whole lot of dwarves that died in the progress of making this uh, fort I think we are in the third year already. Yeah, these are uh, engraved tombstones for the dwarves that I could not find anymore. Uh, a couple of my dwarves fell down holes and broke their backs and I couldn't reach them and stuff like that. Um, this is my huge farm pasture. Um, I've got, um, let's see what kind of animals I have. I've got water buffaloes, donkeys, um, the water buffaloes and the donkeys are breeding and uh, yeah, some other stuff like cats and rams and uh, whatnot. Yeah, you can see my food stockpile is like so high, it's like almost ridiculous. Oh, I'm uh, changing my screen apparently by scrolling. Uh, yeah, I've got like 400 seeds and uh, that's because I have over here four farm plots and I have way too many farmers. Actually, I use all my excess um, people because otherwise they're just doing st not useful stuff and uh, whatever. Uh, you can also see that the river is taking a weird shape, but more on that later. We'll continue with the tour first. This is my food stockpile, um, some more uh, workbenches and stuff. Um, if you enter the fort, you enter through here. Uh, you'll go down, then through a series of uh, stone traps. And this is a shortcut. I've also got a scenic route which is activated when I pull the lever over here and then the bridge goes up you cannot pass the bridge and then you are forced to take the scenic route the scenic route takes you all the way down, down, down and then up again and yeah, if you survive it then you can enter through the doors and into my fort um, these are general stockpiles, uh, my hospital is over here, my dining room is over here, I'm building more um, hallways to have better connection for my uh, smelteries and uh, my forges, but yeah, I want to remove some of these stockpiles uh, and replace them with uh, forges. Um, yeah, you've already seen my barracks over here. You can see 
I've got a whole lot of levers, but uh, they're not connected to anything. Those uh, yeah, down even more stockpiles and uh, workbenches. And this is where the general population sleeps. This is going to be my mayor's office because I need that somewhat. Uh, because everything keeps changing. Uh, I'm expanding down, but I want a series of uh, bridges uh, to be built first. Um, now that's said, then I will tell you why the river has got such a weird shape. It's because I've dug tunnels which will lead the water all the way here to my main uh, water, um, what's it called, water diverting area, I guess. Uh, you can see I've got levers over here and a little bit higher also here. This is the main entry point that I can cut off. It is one or two levels deep, uh, actually three levels, yeah, three levels deep them four levels deep I have uh, the right part which is currently blocked off because it was full enough and then on the left there is the holding area for my drowning trap um, the drowning trap is simple I have a lever here which opens the water passage uh, it's connected to floodgates over here and it will simply store the wet water over here. Then you see these two levers. Well, actually you see only one floodgate, one pair of floodgates activated. The other one is open. Um, they are found here, the levers for that. You can see one is open, one is not active. And uh, when I open them, the water will flow downwards and hopefully drown everyone who is situated over here. Um, this is of course only available after I retracted my bridge. Um, after this passage is flooded I also wanted a way for the water to be able to evaporate. That is done by opening these floodgates by pulling this lever and then the water will flow down into this holding area where it can and hopefully will evaporate otherwise I have a problem or I have just or maybe gained like two gigantic fishing areas. Now back up we see the right side. Uh, this lever is closed but I used it to fill an underground water uh, supply area it goes all the way here and this is where it stops. Uh, when we go up again you can see this is used for my wells. My wells are being used by my dwarves to clean themselves after they've passed like my entryway and gotten themselves all under blood and stuff. Um, so that's my fourth so far. I might record some more footage later on when uh, Goblin start to attack because I've already repelled one siege which consisted of one squad of spear men, uh, Goblin spear men or pikemen, can't remember, but they didn't make it past this point so I didn't even get to use my trap, my water flooding trap which was uh, sad more on that uh, hopefully later when they come with finger armies and stuff uh, I'm still like um, finding out all the possibilities for Dwarf Fortress and if you have any hints and tips that aren't available on the Dwarven wiki then I hope you can share them with me in the comments also if you think I need to build something really awesome or some and it, you think it is within my cap capabilities then uh, just recommend it and <laughs> I'll see if I can do it 
Uh, yeah. Let's hope we have lots of fun with this dwarf fortress. See you guys later.